Good evening for the Mass on Tuesday, October 27th. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, all. Good morning, Father Marcel. We've gathered as one family in Christ to celebrate this Holy Eucharist of the 30th week in ordinary time. My brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to teach us how to love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came that we may have life and have it in abundance. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. And make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, brothers and sisters. Be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, 
that he might present to himself the church in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reverence to Christ and the church. In any case, Each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed Blessed are are those those who who fear fear the the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed Blessed are those who fear fear the the Lord. Behold, this is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, what is the kingdom of God like? So what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, this is one of St. Paul's passages that sometimes people misunderstand. Some have labeled St. Paul as a misogynist or chauvinist. Why? Because he said wives should be subordinate to the husband. Because they didn't really 
give it the right interpretation. Wife should be subordinate to the husband. And husbands should do what? Should love their wife just as Christ loved the church. Christ loved the church. He sacrificed himself. He offered himself. He served the church until the end. So it's all about mutual love and mutual service to one another. No one is inferior. No one is superior. So if you interpret it very well, it's all about mutual love, mutual respect. The husband and wife, they should show to each other. No one is inferior. No one is superior. So sometimes people don't really give it good interpretation. They just look at it. Oh, St. Paul is telling us to be subordinate, you know, to be. So it's not. It's all about mutual respect and mutual love until death do them part. And also in our second, in our gospel, Jesus presented us with two parables. The parable of the mustard seed and also the parable of the yeast. Use this parable to describe the kingdom of God. Mustard seed, the smallest, the smallest of all the seeds. But when it grows, it becomes a huge bush, a huge plant that the birds of the sky dwells in it, that shelters the birds of the sky. And also yeast. When you put, when you mix the yeast with wheat flour, of course, you know what it does. It rise, it helps it to rise and grows big. So here, Jesus is telling us and asking us, how do we, how do we practice our faith? Do we prof- the, faith we, the faith we profess, do we just profess this faith and leave it dormant? Or do we practice this faith? so that it will bear much fruit abundantly, so that others may through us, they will come to believe in God. They will through us, they will come to experience the goodness and kindness of the divine Savior. So we don't just, you know, act I'm a Christian just by mouth, but we don't leave it out. We don't show it by examples. So as we journey through life, we have to ask ourselves, what type of Christian am I? Am I a lukewarm or passive Christian? Am I a vibrant, active, and practicing Christian? Am I a fruitful Christian or am I a fruitless one? How about the word of God? We hear, we proclaim, we preach daily. Do I just hear the word of God and continue, you know, with how I'm living my life? Or do I use this, do I hear this word of God and allow it to reflect in my life, shows by examples, so that others will see us and testify by their fruit, we shall know them truly. These people are Christian, the followers of Christ. They're living Christ-like life. So my friends in Christ, may we strive daily to be efficient, authentic, active, fruitful Christians so that we can always, you know, match our, our words with our actions. Say that action speaks louder than voice so that we may bear fruit abundantly, fruit that will help us to transform our world into, God, into the kingdom of God that God created it to be. May the good Lord continue to strengthen us as we resolve to always live out our Christian life so that others may see us, they will come and experience the goodness, the kindness, and the love of divine Savior. May we rise for our intercessions. For the intentions of this Mass, for God's abundant blessings on Celia Maria, Banuerius. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that Anel de Leon is enjoying the peace of everlasting life. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves. May the good Lord give us the grace to be effective Christians so that uh, through us God may further his plan of salvation for the whole world. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, 
hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, especially those known to us. May the good Lord continue to comfort them so that they may experience the abundant healing mercy and love of God. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the scientists, those who are researching for treatment vaccine for COVID-19. May the good Lord bless them and crown all their efforts with success. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the private intentions of the people of Divine Savior, our family, our friends, and other intentions in our online prayer tree, for all of them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Feel free to add your own intentions. For a special intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and compassionate Savior, we, your children, have presented our needs, our intentions, our prayers with faith and hope. You will answer us according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, the for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add not into your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, mighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners. 
The way by which your peace is offered to us when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command will fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing into his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of it, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously tender us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jaime our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, the power and, and glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take take away the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.